Before we start, let me further explain this food situation. So you'll need 7 pieces of 3 different foods. This can take quite a bit of inventory space, so I suggest using something that's stackable, like holy biscuits, purple sweets, or cakes as they count as 3 pieces. Or you could do as I did and brought some onions and cabbages in a sack. Potatoes is also an option. And some strawberries in a basket. Any of these options will work just fine, as long as you bring, again, 7 pieces of 3 different food. So with that said, let's continue. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Climb down the ladder. And enter the cave entrance just to your southeast. Speak to the fallen man and accept the quest. Your task now is to boost his health, spirit, and armament. You can leave the last one for later. For now, let's just focus on the health and spirit. You will now have to feed him the food you brought. Go ahead and choose a specific pattern of your food. In my case, I'll feed him a onion first, then a cabbage, then a tomato, and just keep cycling the same pattern. If you try to give him the same food, he will decline. Feed him four times and you will get a short cutscene. Once he's conscious, speak to him and choose the first chat option for both prompts. Cycle through four pieces of food once again, continuing the pattern that you left off in the first four pieces. If you right click and inspect him, the health should be past the white bar. Your next task is to raise his spirit. Talk to him. Now you'll be presented with four chat options. Go ahead and choose the positive one. Here on screen are the answers. And once you answer said option, also answer the next one with the one on the right. They come in pairs, so this is much easier than it looks. For example, my first answer is, you seem like a nice guy. Then of course the accompanying answer to is, just being honest. Now there's not much I could do at the moment, so I suggest pausing the video and using the answers on screen to lift his spirit. And you'll know when you've done enough, as he will now be sitting down. After the conversation, right click and inspect him. You will now have to tackle both his health and spirit. But of course we've done this already, so we just have to do the same cycle basically. So I'll start with the health, and of course we continue the same food pattern as we've done before.
Keep feeding him until the inspection box you have crossed the white line. And of course, keep raising his spirit. And you'll know when you've done enough, when not only have you crossed the white line, but he now gets up on his feet. After the lengthy conversation, right click and inspect him. Now this is going to be the last time you're going to boost his spirit and health. So go ahead and feed him to the maximum and raise his spirits to the maximum as well. The answers are here on screen of course. Feel free to pause the video and continue once both statuses have reached its full. Welcome back, that probably took a while. So now that his statuses are full, go ahead and talk to him one more time. And he'll send you to obtain some armor in the Lunar Bank. Once at the bank, make sure you have at least one free inventory space and speak to Bird Eye Jack and choose a second chat option. Now for this next part, bear with me for a moment. Now I'm not entirely sure on the armor selection. As according to the wiki, it says Cyrus's armor selection is usually based on your highest level of combat. Of course, melee range and magic. And here are the combinations of such. Now this confuses me a little bit because I'm not entirely sure what determines your melee. Is it just your highest stat? Is it a combination of the three, uh, just sort of combined and divided by three? Now at the time of this recording, I do believe that my melee was the highest, so I hit went with the melee setup. Go ahead and withdraw whatever you feel is the right for you. Then return to Cyrus in the cave. Now if your armor selection was not the right one, he will tell you. So go ahead and use the other two combinations and one of them will be the answer. Talk to him and choose the first chat option. You will now get a cutscene. Now in case you haven't fed and lifted his spirits all the way, make sure to do so now. Once the three stats are full, you will no longer be able to inspect him. 
You will now need to speak to the Ornariumancer. Head to the Lunar Lodestone. And go ahead and deposit any of the food that you are feeding him as you will not need it any longer. Then of course, head to the Astral Altar. Speak to her and choose a second chat option. After the conversation, you should receive a vial. You will need to create a sleeping potion. There is a water source right next to the lunar lodestone. Fill the vial with water. Head just south. And use an astral rune on the anvil. And grind it. Head to the bank to make the potion. Next, prepare for combat. You will not be able to teleport out or use prayers. Simply use your gout weed on the vial, then use a ground rune on the vial. Once geared and ready, and in case you're using magic, make sure you're on a spellbook with combat spells. Head to the large building in the west and speak to Cyrus. Choose the first chat option. This pedestal to your north is your way to exit if you wish. You will now have to slay through four bosses. There are no special mechanics involved. Simply slay whatever you see. Now the fourth boss, the elusive, will definitely be the most annoying, as it will hop from place to place. This will probably take you the longest, but it's very simple of course. Once you slay the elusive, you will now get a cutscene. Once you return to Lunar Isle, speak to the Ornariumancer for the last time. And choose a second chat option. And quest complete.